Nice. Which then has the, the good pocket. You can see into it now. Have a look in the pocket. Pockets are empty. I love it. we're trying to make a really valid point to people and the Spice Girls are absolutely blaring. <laughs> the water is fucked. And because uh, I'm about to spend a fortune fixing it where I should have just put a quarter panel in it but they came out conveniently just after after this. So we're just going to keep going with it. But uh, sanded it down. It's getting epoxy on the inside so it can be welded in. And you're just taping up all the the bits that need to be exposed. So Jackie's uh, making me uh, spray it, which is kind of funny. Yeah. That's slob. What do I do here now? You know what you're doing. I just go for it. Yeah, man, just go for it. It's nice, uh, Dick. And Barry drew the dicks all over. Lovely. Yeah, I'd say there's definitely over at least 15 cars welded into the car. There has to be. Jesus Christ. So I was late to the party and uh, the uh, quarter panel that I put in, there's the bit that's gone. Nice. Looks like a dentist drill. <laughs> You just mat that back into, it, that back into it, and then sand it. Then sand it back tomorrow, and then we'll put on some with the resin. Oh, that's the resin. Nice. Looks like piss after a session. <laughs> oh, it smells lovely though, which is unusual. It does. That's a fucking nice, real horrible rotten chemical smell. <laughs> The, the good pocket. You can see into it now. Have a look in the pocket. The pockets are empty. It is. All right. He did make it look very easy. Yeah. As if. It's not fucking in yet, like. Yeah. Could be fucking misery yet. Yeah, no. It is gas. How? <laughs> Fuck. There, there's. I just. I never look at these things the same ever again. <laughs> Everything looks stronger when it's. Well, Hidden. But that's the idea when it's all fucking entwined together, it is yeah. stronger. Aye. Yeah. We should put ourselves together, but what we'll do is we'll tack it in and then we'll try the lamp and stuff into it. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Obviously this corner got damaged before. Like. Oh, it was mangled. Was it? This got mangled and then there's a quarter badly put on on the other side, so. Yeah. So I'll just scotch the inside or I like give it a rub of brush back again. And just start going. Do clean like all the shit. crap off, yeah. Yeah, just get in there as best. What about all this shite? I don't worry about in there. And that's weird. Eco is grand like. Yeah. It's just that that's exposed. <laughs> Drive your car and enjoy your car. Don't put it in a bubble and look at it because under every panel and it's not only it's not only these, it's not only twin cars. No, it's everything. It's everything, man. Every every car it, when it gets to like 20, 30 years old. Does this. And it's going to just, and everywhere, every single place where there's a, where there's a spot weld. Yeah, where it's welded, it's, it's going to do that.
it does this around the spot wells. And we've said that before when Barry was doing shit and he said it to me. And this is the reason why we always say to actually drive and enjoy this shit. I love it. we're trying to make a really valid point to people and the Spice Girls are absolutely <laughs> blaring. And you know what? Fucking whatever. <laughs> Just the way it's after like, kind of dripping down and heading in. Scary. But... Just, I'll know when I'm out on a track and join the car. It's like, I know it's doing this. And like, I can't take it with me when I'm fucking dead, so... Enjoy. When they actually tried to repair it... You remember? It was, uh, shit. So the lads tried to beat this out. And it just didn't work. Look at all the marks. Remember at the start? So at the start of these videos, we were using the Miracle Pull, which is over here. And uh, yeah, the miracle pull didn't do the miracle we wanted. Well, it kind of did, but you can see the main reason why they actually pulled this out and completely chopped it off is this piece here, right on the ridge, they were trying to pull this with the miracle pull. So you got to tack on and pull. And uh, as much as they tried to get this little groove out, it just didn't work. So we got that whole other piece of quarter panel, which is in here. Uh, which is actually off this car and uh, this is kind of the last piece that's uh, been holding us back from getting the shell into filler primer so this job has been kind of put on the back burner for ages because the lads do a lot of insurance work and they really don't have a lot of time to do this so that's why like we're always doing this in the evening you may be wondering watching these videos like how come you guys just don't do this for a week and stuff because we're, the lads are doing this car with me in, in their spare time and what's scary, like we were talking about earlier, all the places that are rusting, that you'll never see. Clean this up, put this in. You can see the back panel is a bit fucked, but just tack it back in. And how far out this light was, this light was pushed in, so hopefully the panel will bring it all out. But uh, we're going to hit this with epoxy tonight, all these bare pieces, and then they'll be cleaned up. So Even you can see here, they're commonplace because they've got foam on them where it was starting to rust. See it on the back of this, look. So on all 8.6s, they've got foam around the, the boot lid or the filler neck kind of surrounding. And uh, a very, very common place for them to rust is here. Barry actually done a repair out here. You can see a bit of his repair here that uh, was already starting to rust, but uh, this breaks down and then it starts to absorb moisture, which you can actually see has happened there. and. 100% here and then that eventually rusts through so it's only a matter of time maybe like a few years who knows but uh, there's one of Barry's wells here I guess you know wells aren't so pretty from the inside but it's a bit of the old civic bonnet but look you can see here there's a spot weld and you wouldn't be able to see that because it was hidden so a lesson drive your car and enjoy it because this is what's happening Moisture, sitting, and rusting, look. Barry was talking about that before. It was a kind of wishful thinking, thinking that we'd paint the inside of the car first, because since the car has been up here, uh, yeah, we've uh, kind of damaged the inner paint, and even when we were stripping the car back to bare metal, all this we're gonna have to repaint the entire inside of the car again. Yeah, there it is there. The uh, stuff pissed in. And uh, up there and stuff, so the whole inside needs to be done again. And the uh, rust treatment leaked all over the floor and destroyed the place. So obviously all this has to be done again. I know every car is like that, but 86s are like particularly terrible look at that there's no real crash protection and uh, I know that because I went backwards into a pole at like 50 or 60 miles an hour in one of these and it hurt like a lot like a motherfucker some of the OG members will remember the little hatchy that could and I was in the passenger seat so I've uh, experienced a lot in the 86s but that wasn't fun because there is no crash bar so there's no crash protection whatsoever in the rear of a Corolla so if it goes backwards into a pole, it's going to cause a mess. Check this out. This is like an Irish touring car, but it's an original Seat Leon Cup car that was actually built by Seat 
It's in for a respray. It's definitely had a crazy life. Look at this. Mad. Yeah, look at this. Check it out. Seat board. So it's actually a proper Seat Cup car. A Subaru, the GC Impreza that's been here for a long time. Jackie just finished it today in work. So this is something that they're doing in work, which is kind of cool. He's done all the doors and stuff. So, and the guy that owns the 86 also owns this, and uh, he's uh, going to assemble it himself. So the lads are going to put the doors on, but he. It's gonna put everything else on, but it's, it's absolutely beautiful. This thing like has, well, no rust. It looks like it's in way better condition than anything I've ever owned. It was only in from Japan maybe like a couple of months and then he disassembled it to fix the small bit of rust that was back here somewhere. So this all had to be replaced just because uh, it's very common on Subarus for uh, rust to form on the lower panel there. But uh, even the way the lads did all the factory spray on it, it looks so cool. It looks like it was done by a machine. Really nice car. I really love that generation. Special thanks to him for hooking me up with this piece. Otherwise, I'd be absolutely fucked, really. Very high tech, isn't it? Great. So last night this was like horrible and now it's not. Now it's like done. Tio moved quickly. He was even fucking doing it before I even arrived, so fair play to him. Uh, I'm not as sad and as intimidated anymore. So I guess he'll just like finish it next week and then it's done and then this is like the last piece of like metal work, like the final boss of the whole car to like move on to the next phase. So it's pretty fucking exciting. I just kind of stood there in awe watching him put it in earlier. Another piece of another 8.6. Best Friday night I've had in a while anyway. Imagine looking at this for five years knowing that it has to be like tackled and then it, then it is so. Cool. It's kind of the magic of like the sad part about your job and like people that are doing metal work and that at least we're documenting it but like when it's all done no one sees the pain and misery that's the worst thing though I, I do feel fucking bad for like panel beavers say, yeah. because the painter usually gets all the fucking credit because yeah. they put a bit of shiny paint on it <laughs> it looks great like, but all this shit like you can't have like a good paint job if it's shit yeah The uh, quarter panel, looking, looking incredible. Now it's going to get covered in paint. And all that lovely work will be hidden. At least I've got some photos, which I'll put up here. And you can appreciate the uh, craftsmanship, craftsmanship of this. We were just laughing, I just basically said to you how most of your life is just masking. With the technique. Look at that. Getting the little 
So is that the peel back then that it's you just use for? Get, it's just to stop getting a hard edge, like. Okay. You know what I mean? Because if you, it's very hard to get rid of a hard edge. Yeah. Even though you sand it, and you're sanding it back. And oh, it so it that goes on the side that's getting painted, so it kind of feathers in underneath it. Exactly. Fuck. This is incredible. Already, like it's mad. You can't even, you can't really even see the line. Like seeing the car primed and then seeing that is like two of the biggest fucking just nice feelings on this. Look at it, it's fucking great. Yeah, that's it now. That was the last. Now you just do the little bit of filler on the side. Because it's only, it's only this far. Yeah, and then it's into the bar and the back, the back panel. Back panel. All your work is erased, just like that. Shit out of the, <laughs> <laughs> the joys of it. Hidden the under. The worst would look wobbly as fuck. <laughs> it doesn't look too bad. No, it looks great. Can't even see where it blends. Another piece, another piece of the puzzle. Thank you, beautiful. Just like that, magic is hidden. And now we don't have a mangled corner anymore. Fucking savage. It's scary when you see the fucking pictures of how far the light was actually in, that light panel was actually in. Yeah. You know, like when he was praying up, the fucking. Yeah, it was in like. It's like it was proper all pushed in yeah. and then they just filled it out with filler. That's why it never sat right, like. They never fixed it. This panel was in. Yeah. Like that much, wasn't it? Like nearly, yeah. Fucking great.